just looking at my research here, seeing what really there is. Not, not much left, I don't think. We got the Praetor interrogation that we need to do. We got actually two of them, but I think we really only grabbed the one, and it happened to be a leader. So we've got both of those that we got to do. And aside from that, I think both of these... I feel like this one we're going to need to do for the final mission, but the Singularity Core, I think, is only for our final ship. Unless that final ship is required to get to their planet, I don't know. I know that was the case in the original games, I don't know how this game does it. But we'll see. The Reaper and Wraith analysis is going excellently, so that'll be done soon. And this base working on the Quantum Cryptology Center, which I believe to be the one that we use so we can determine who's in which UFO and what their mission is and all that. And manufacturing, still working on the Sentinel Battlesuit, which I probably have. I've got enough for everybody. I think just the shields need them nowadays. Uh, Sentinel. Yeah, that's the one. And there we are. I'm pretty sure those have been ready for a while. Uh, I never did look before the most recent battleships, so those are probably, you know, oh well though, no harm done. I'd feel bad if somebody had died during that mission because they didn't have it. And already we got massives coming up. There's the one for Indochina. They can't really handle it yet. What else do we got? That can't be it. I see it landed, but come on now. Yeah, everybody's, uh, mostly equipped up. You guys gonna, gonna put your stuff on? Team Rocket slack it a little bit. Do I even need stun rockets anymore? I don't even know. I don't think I do. I mean, I've stunned pretty much everybody. I'll bring them just in case. And heavy, yeah, you got a bunch of rockets, you got it. Okay, so they're all set. Okay, cool. Uh, we're ready. Um, I don't think we'll be able to make it all the way over there, though. We'll try it, but I really feel like it's going to take off soon. Hey, there's the Reaper analysis. Mm, pretty much nothing we didn't already know about them. Some humorous flavor text in there, but ultimately just a 10% damage increase. And I'm wondering if the other research will be finishing up the Wraith analysis. Um, apparently... Oh, okay, wrong base. Uh, yeah, only 15 there. Okay, so the other 30... I suppose on the Praetor. Pray, pray, Praetor. Pray, Praetor. Praetor. It's another one of those names. Hmm. We'll go for Praetor, I, su I suppose. I can't think of a good human name to give it. Unless I name it Charles or something like that, but... Yeah. Doing that makes Greg seem so much less unique. Yeah. Yeah, I... I didn't think so. I was half expecting an interceptor to fly out of nowhere, though. Where... Where'd you come from? Zupoi. Oi. A large. Can we do a large with these guys? Can we catch a large with those guys? Probably not. Hey, there's a battleship UFO. It it's what you expect it to be. It's powerful. Um just looking over here. Yeah, nothing nothing too amazing. Thirty four hundred is their top speed though. So I don't know what that dude is doing. He's just like teabagging a warship. I don't I don't know. Let's auto resolve and go home. I don't know. They're weird. It'd be great if you could catch him and gun him down, but I doubt you could. Oh my god. It's trolling. Items ordered to Alps. What did Alps order? Dudes for making stuff and things? Yeah, dudes for making stuff and things. Awesome! No scientists, though, because there's 
No lab space. I don't think there's even living space anymore. No. Yeah, we're we're completely full up here. Uh they got they got space for living, but I don't know if we'll really need it. We should build another living quarters and a workshop. We should have done that a long time ago, but we didn't. Oh, come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Undamaged. Haven't had one of these in a while, and we started right next to one of them, which will be interesting because this wall's not actually there. I think we see him, but nobody can really get an angle on him. But if we don't handle him, he'll definitely kill about two people. Looks like... well, it looks like farm, obviously, and we're in a safe corner. Safe-ish, I suppose. <sighs> Alright, just single fire, aim a little bit. I don't think crouching will help, it'll probably make it less accurate, so shoot a couple and then crouch. And we'll pick them off somebody else. Reaction fire, but he's using a shotgun thing, and I'm not I'm not too worried about it. But if we don't get him down now, he'll kill them, and goodness knows how many others there are over there. And come start with this pea shooter. A very expensive pea shooter. Take a couple shots and move out of the way. Oh, oh, you hit him. Hmm. Where? There we go. I was going to say we're missing somebody. It's always Thomas hiding off in the corner. Can never see him. And that, that did it. Okay, well done. Um... I guess we'll just hide for the time being. They should act as decent enough distractions, I think. I hope. That's a cheap shot. Nice job, civilian. Thomas Duponte, I think I found your brother. Oh my god, pump like shotgun. There's another dude down here who completely slaughtered him with an awesome shotgun thing. Um, we scooch you up a little bit. Hey, there we go. Now we see him. Wow, barely have to aim. Pretty much guaranteed hit from Gambit. Try it. Very nice. Oh, yeah. That's a Team Rocket, I remember. Oh, could probably just fly with you to scout, shouldn't I? I think that'd work. We see... Oh, oh, yep, he's hiding. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't think he can really do too much, because he'd have to stand, run out, and take a shot, but... He's kind of far out. We'll get a couple people out there to... Maybe pull off a reaction shot. Apparently Jake's doing a good job just shooting through the side of the ship. What else do we got down here? Nothing? For now? We'll see. And I feel like it's going to be clear enough up there. We'd see him if we floated up, so we'd have to run all the way down here to get a shot, so I'm not too concerned about it this turn. And we need to move you someplace safe, probably. Just over here behind the hedges. I think that'll be fine. Because, yeah, that's, yeah, that'll be good enough. Well, can't say we didn't try. A fine hit and run. Couple of them are inside that building. I feel like a couple rockets would chase them out pretty darn well. But figuring out where to shoot the rockets is a bit of a trick. Cause that rock is super in the way. What if we go for you first? Hmm. 
Can we shoot through a rock? Uh, actually, yeah, we can. Wow, okay. Um, rifle the rest of it? Try to just clear the way for a couple rockets and one rocket into the wall. There we go. Pretty nice. And the hay bales? Most of them. And we'll just shoot two rockets in there because we got two million bucks and I feel like that's a pretty good amount. So I don't feel too bad about, you know, shooting rockets into areas that have loot in them. Uh, decently aimed, right at the wall. There you go. You really are just trying to hit the broad side of a barn. And go for that. There you go, pretty good damage. Might be able to pick them off with the map master from really far away. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it would do much. Okay. And we're kind of in the corner over here. I was going to say I'm expecting something to run out and get you now that we've spent your timing nuts, but not really a concern. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And Commissar is just short on timing. It's to throw the not smoke grenade. Oops. Uh, you got one. So we could always just throw out a smoke grenade there to protect everybody. We're okay. Got him down, and maybe him? Nicely done. 114 damage. My goodness. That is a very, very, very cool thing. I suppose it's that, like, what, 10, 15% damage increase that we do. When you're doing 80 to 90 damage, it's a good bit. Heard a lot of just, just doors opening on that hidden movement. So definitely a lot aboard the ship, especially since it was just landed, not shot down. So it's undamaged completely. So I am expecting a ton of aliens to be inside. And because of how many just doors I heard opening and closing during that hidden movement, I don't think there's really any more out here, which is kind of surprising. And I'm pretty sure I'm against a battleship. I don't know for sure, though. How high can we... Yeah, I think it'll be another battleship since we can go that high. Sort of fly out there and land near the fence and we will get you up onto the rooftop as well as Jake Whoa. reaction shot haven't missed much it's been a couple turns just moving up haven't really discovered anything until now there's him but he oh it's a landing ship not even a battleship man okay been a while since we've done one of these got our sniper up here though on the rooftop Jake C should be able to hit him from here Maybe if we can discover this this guy actually exists. There we go. Uh, poopy log is in the way. Should be able to take care of it. Eventually. Just doing warning shots. Don't mind me. There we go. Perfect. And now we can snipe him. Hopefully. It worries me that it doesn't auto target. I have to actually press R and hover it over him. Normally it, it does like an auto target thing for me. Uh, 240s, I suppose. First one hit and suppressed him. And second one should hit and kill him. 91. Not bad. Not great, though. Rifle did 111 damage, or what was it, like 110 damage to a civilian earlier. Would think the sniper rifle would be doing a lot more than that. Must have been just a weak, glancing blow. 
Oh my gosh, really? There's like nothing over here. Just kind of handling this as a three squad type scenario. Fairly certain was clear over here for the flying troops who positioned themselves like Jake's up here and, and whoever else is flying around over here. So I moved the rockets up over there. One heavy on the left side with a couple dudes by the tractor in the middle for support just in case he needed it. And another heavy right down the middle straight into the front door. And because it's a landing ship, I suppose this works out doubly as well because we got the side doors. So I'll have to get one heavy and one rifle on each and then two rockets front and center with a sniper to look in the front door. With Commissar Pancakes being doorman up here. We'll go for that. And in the event that nothing happens until then, that is the plan. And we're all ready to head on in. Commissar Pancakes ready at the front main door, two rocks on standby behind the log, and the sniper still where he was before. All of them looking into the front door, and on the side doors, we got a heavy with an assault rifle right behind him, ready to take on whatever may be in the hallway. Though we should probably reload with everybody before we officially head on in. There we go. Pretty much good enough. Uh, we'll check the front door first real fast, just because we can. There are a couple in there. I did have the rockets up on the rooftop before, but that is definitely outside the weapon's effective range, and was a little concerned about the rocket going a little too haywire and taking out Commissar. So I, I moved them. And this might be good enough. Set up on fire at the very least. That's, that's pretty cool. And Gambit being, I believe, more accurate. Boy, there's risky shots and then there's risky shots. Gambit, prove that you were born to be on Team Rocket. Thread that needle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no real worries there. I don't know if we can get a sniper round in there or not. I think we got an angle on him. No. And not, not really. We do, though. Have. We open that door. Okay, open this door. Have it, have an angle on him from here. So we could do that. Try again. There we go. And you can't close the door now. No. But you... Come on. There we go. Okay. And we can probably even thread a rocket from Gambit right up into there, too, and take out those far back aliens. And that's not really a shot I want to risk. Move Gambit up there point blank to a civilian. Eh. It's quite alright. Reload for next turn and pretty much do this over and over and over again. Because the aliens are afraid to leave the ship, we could just camp right outside it, open the door, pick them off, and close the door before they really get an opportunity to do opportunity to do anything. In the meantime, I'll practice talking. Okay, Gambit? Ah, uh, well, let's actually just see here. 94 accuracy. 83 accuracy. Yeah, 13%. To Gambit's 13%. Oh boy. Go for it. That works. Oh boy. That's about the the worst thing that could have happened. Okay. No no problem. Should be able to kill him with King Fizzle, but just for safety. Try to see if the sniper can get an angle first. No, okay. Definitely blocked by the ship. No worries. 
Uh, whiz one right by Commissar's ear and take out the civilian. Worst case you miss, Commissar will finish him off. Okay, or you just won't have enough time to take him out, that's fine. Commissar. Finish him off. And just for funsies. Couple shots at him. Headshot, no damage. And close door. Right. Now you can hit him. Or him. Or you can hit him. Or we just open the door. And carefully with Thomas Tabanti, because I'm afraid of a burst fire ripping through him and hitting our own guys. Shoot this dude in the back of the head. In the back of the head. One more time. There. Now he's done. He can't hit us because the wall's in the way. So we should be able to clear this guy out. Easy. And door's definitely stuck open. Okay. And we just basically clear out. And see what they do. Ammo check, we still... Bubba needs to reload next turn, but I think... I think we're ready for another round. chance of hitting him with Commissar, but I don't know if the pistol would be enough to bring him down. Jake C, do you have a shot? Barely. Okay. That little tiny thing is in the way there. So aim for... Carefully, aim for the back wall. How you feeling, Commissar? Tons of debris flying over your head. Oop, this one's a little less, in, a little less accurate because we've got that thing in the way. But if we hit that... I'll tell you what, if we just aim for the floor, that might be better. Yeah, still have... Still have that left. Alright, we'll have to just take a couple shots with the Commissar and see what we can do. Save the rest to close the door. And Jake. Just go for it. That thing's still in the way. Couldn't take it down with rockets. Aww. You know, for a second I thought it might actually go over it, even though that'd be physically impossible from its location. It's fine, though. Good try. Good try. Yeah, you're still there. Got him. And fly up. I, I guess. Okay. I really wish there was just a direct up because when the wall's hiding your character, it's difficult to determine where to where to go. And close the door and close the door. Hopefully this guy runs out. Because we got a bubba kind of in the open. If he just steps <laughs> Up a little bit, he could take a shot at him. Or he can just continue to hide. Yeah, he'll just continue to hide. Fine then. Okay. Don't mind us. We're just gonna be here in your ship. That's 
so goddamn risky. Because what I'd really like to do, it's a really bad chance of it working, but get a rocket way back there and take out the wall so a bubble can pop over and kill him. It's just such a low chance. But those are the most fun shots to take. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, see, that ain't that bad. Oh, you're out of rockets now? Damn. Double damn. I don't know how the shot makes sense. Wow, did that miss. Holy cow, did that ever miss. Impressive. Let's see what happens. I'm anticipating he's gonna run out and try to kill these guys. Or he'll just do that. Okay. I don't I don't really know what he's thinking here. Same could be said about me though. Or maybe I do know what's going on. Who knows? Keep it closed. Let's close that one too. I think we just got the one guy back there. Maybe one in the far back of the ship. And then whoever's upstairs. So. Just about done here. I don't know where this guy is. Okay, he fell back. Hi. One for the wall, one for the face. And to the side. I think it's just whatever is upstairs now. Whoa, hello. You know, that'd be a really good spot to hide if it wasn't so easy just to, you know... Wapia. Ow. I suppose in hindsight, that wasn't really the best idea. I kind of deserved that. We're okay, though. Testament to the bravery committed by Commissar Pancakes every mission when he uses his beat stick. And everybody else just stay back. Enjoy. I, I don't I don't really need you for the rest. Because from here on it's pretty much the heavies. And a medic to take care of Thomas because he is bleeding. Not much though. Frankly, I'm surprised I didn't do a lot more damage. You probably deserve to die on that. Ready to breach into the final room? Everybody's pretty much loaded up. We're ready to go, only using the pistol, the heavies, and the assault rifles, because... Don't really need rockets for this room, that's a little... A little too dangerous, and the sniper... Eh, debatable. Pop over the door, see what we got. There's a good bit of them this time around. But, much like last time... Most shots are okay to take because we got a bit of cover between us and them. I don't know what that dude's doing here. I don't think he belongs. That's okay, we'll take a shot at th this guy though. Other people will try to take a shot at us too, but there's enough cover in the way that I think we'll be okay. Maybe not. His shot actually went through pretty, uh, pretty okay. We'll find then. Yeah, okay. Well. Then close the door. 
we could just shoot through the wall and try to take on that guy. Um, bit risky. Bit risky indeed. Let's crouch. Uh, his problem is taking a shot at him could trigger reaction fire. Even if we take that out. Because I'm hoping Map Master two shots burst fire should be able to take him on. Should. I don't know. Let's let's see what happens here. Okay, that's best case scenario as we shoot over the cover and hit him. One more time? Oh my god. Thomas DuPonte. It's like he knows what he's doing or something. Almost like he's a col uh got a colonel. I almost said commander. Oof. Uh Eh? Uh, okay, one of those nicked him. If we could get you... We'll have to, we'll have to end this turn to close the door, because I don't think we can get... No. I guess just try it again. Here we go. And that guy, who I think is just using a rifle. Just easy. He wasn't even wearing armor. So it looks like because we didn't shoot it down, we still get the bonus after the end of the mission that we would have gotten for shooting it down, I suppose. I think that's what it means if I shot down bonus 40. Because otherwise it lands and you just do the mission and you don't get any relations because doing the mission doesn't affect relations. And shooting the thing down is what does it. But because it landed, then eh, I don't know. I don't know. $160,000. Pretty cool. We're rocking like, gosh, it's under 2.2 million now, I think. Uh, and Thomas is injured for seven days. That's what you get for trying to beat stick everything. Commissar Pancakes wished us upon you, I'm sure. And 127 escaped into space. I think that's the guy we just did. I don't know. Uh, I think because Squadron 2 was on it and then we did it, that it was just like, ah, I don't know what to do, and just claimed that it shot off into space. Maybe. I don't know. Where's this guy going? Right there. Okay, Zoo Boy, new target. Get that guy. He's right there. He's asking for it. We got the ammo.